one. In relative layout, the size and position of each child widget has to be given. Two, you can give size hint and pause hint for each child widget. In that case, the numbers are relative to the layout. Also, it does not make any difference if relative layout or float layout was used if pause hint is used to set a position. 3. The Python program uses relative layout for the root widget which is defined in the KV file. 4. In the first part of the KV file, a new class is created. My button is based on the button class, but has a size hint of .2 in the X direction and .2 in the Y direction. This means the buttons, based on this class, are 20% of the layout in each direction. Because the number of pixels might be different in X and Y, the aspect ratio is retained. 5. For the root widget, we define canvas instructions, so we can color a portion of the root. For the POS and size, we use list comprehensions. The variable self size refers to the size of self, which is the root in this case. It has two components, one for the X direction and one for the Y direction, like 800 by 600. The position is scaled at 20% and size is scaled at 60% of layout size. The reason the numbers are given this way is because, now, the colored rectangle just touches the perimeter of the buttons in the four corners. 6. The first two buttons are created with text, B1, and B2, they are positioned at lower left corner, and lower right corner. 7. Next, the buttons with text, B3, B4, and B5, are created. B3 is in center of layout, B4 is at the top left corner and B5 is at the top right corner. 8. This is the result, with the colored portion going from 20% to 80% in either of the two directions. The button B3 covers up the exact center of the layout. The other buttons are at the four corners. 9. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.